guys, welcome back. So this week I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. That's right, I know. You'd expect it from Chloe, maybe, but not me. Um, but it's not a normal makeup tutorial. I'm actually going to show you how I can go from this to Maleficent. Um, so as lots of you know, I have a children's party entertainment business and I dress up as princesses a lot and we have a couple of villains who don't usually get to go on excursions very much and they're my favourite to play. So I'm really, really not very good at all with makeup. I never have been. I can make it look nice, but I'm not very good at what to do with it. I just kind of slap it on. So I can imagine so many um, makeup artists would, if they watch this video, but so I've got a lot of friends who are makeup artists and they're just going to be screaming at me. So I use uh, number seven foundation. I don't like putting foundation all over my face. I quite like keeping myself natural as much as possible. Because um, it's nicer, for, always nicer for your skin. I know you can do all the things to make your skin stay nice, but when you have lots of makeup, I just don't feel comfortable in loads of makeup. It's not very me at all. I'm quite comfortable with myself. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a very good thing. So I'm just going for a look alikey. Like, um,. Yeah, she could she could do it for fancy dress, but I wouldn't think she's actually Angelina Jolie look, you know. So difficult doing this in a bloody um camera. It's like I'm like one of those people where it's um you know those my boyfriend does my makeup tag thing. I am the boyfriend because I'm like okay, I think this goes here. My friends always find it really funny when I do it because I'm just not very... I seem to get a decent look at the end but how I, the process of doing it I can never do it right. Like I can't justify spending loads of money on a makeup brush or I don't know what these makeup brushes are for and I just can't be asked to learn about it. It's just not a priority. As long as I can look alright by the end of it I really don't care. So I guess this makeup tutorial is more for people that don't know how to do makeup but still want to get an alright look at the end. What's so harsh? Oh, so harsh. So I just use any, I mean I'm using an eyebrow, eyebrow kit here that I haven't used in ages. I need to get rid of all my makeup to be honest, it's so old. Um, but just any, any kind of dark eyeshadow I just use on my eyebrows I don't I don't do anything for my eyebrows usually unless I'm doing fancy stress to be honest I just kind of pluck them and leave them God, that's good. I used to have my eyebrows like this when I'd go to school my shape was always all right but they'd be jet black they were really really intense I'm not very good at this <laughs> uh, next step would be This can just be a getting getting ready and chat with Anastasia as opposed to a tutorial. I don't think I'm very good at these tutorials. Kind of put it near my waterline a little bit more closer to my waterline on the top than bottom. Oh, I've got a mirror here. Who'd, who'd have thought? I'm not, I'm not, I can't do wings, I can't do, I'm really, I'm just not very good. I'm just not very good. I'm not going to do any liquid eyeliner. But she does have a bit of orange, um, or like a goldie here, and then it goes darker. So I'm going to try and do this. 
feel like I'd have my uh, friends like Christina screaming, that's the wrong brush, what are you doing? This will be the interesting part because I am um, never done these. This is I'm a I'm a virgin on putting on my eyelashes. I've um, worn them before, only when someone else has put them on. I was told that you put the glue in there and do it a little bit on the corners as well, and then leave it for a little bit a little bit tacky. See I see some people put on eyelashes straight away when they do the glue and other people to leave it so I don't know what's meant to be better but the only time my eyelashes have ever stuck on is when it's been left for a little bit and that was advice from my very lovely very clever makeup artist friend. Yeah there you go sorted. How do you people do this? I, oh my god, it's such skills. People don't people don't give others enough credit. The women and men that put on I could have just done a video of me trying to put on fake eyelashes to be quite honest. one's not quite gone to plan. You know what, I could just do a video on me trying to put on bloody eyelashes. This is gonna have to do guys, you're gonna have to deal with that. They, they look flat fabulous but with the eyebrows it's like next level scary. These are the eyelashes that I've used. They're dramatic, as you can tell, very dramatic. Oh my god, Christine is gonna be so proud of me for actually nearly putting these on properly. I'm gonna do the contouring bit now. They clearly have done like a black on there somewhere, so I'm half debating doing that instead of normal contouring. So I might give it a go. There you go, done. at all is it so now I'm literally just using a dark eyeshadow it's not black it's like a dark gray type thing oh look how thin, thin my face looks mental I don't really get highlighter. Like, I really don't get all of the makeup stuff. I'd love to know more. I think people look gorgeous with and without their makeup, but when they do their makeup, they look amazing, and I'd never be able to do makeup like that on myself. She's very pale. I don't want to make myself white. Like I said, I've like white, like actually white, not as in skin white. Um, because I just feel like I look a little bit daft. She looks amazing. I only just had professional makeup done, not me. This is 
maybe more for photos than actual entertaining to be honest I do a normal contour for entertaining and just put the horns on um, and that would be better because kids pick up on stuff they're not stupid but um, for social media this sort of thing would be great so i would not got the right colour red lip liner to be honest this works just as well pronounce it but um I love it it's really soft I just don't like stuff that irritates me I either use this or just a max factor one um it's like 8 99 it's very affordable bit of red lippy so yeah to be honest guys I'm kind of happy with this so I'm just going to see how it looks with the horns so be right back so if you've got a hair net great because it just helps to keep everything in you don't want any hair sticking out for this I can't hear very well with this on either. Everything's really echoey, like I'm in a church hall or something. Um, So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you can see a transformation and I look a little bit less uh, tomboy, a bit more Angelina Jolie. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Bye.